Yeah, I see it. What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. It's your boy, it's Mikey Daily Carry, and I got Mike Cruz here as well. What's up? Oh, what the heck? I got an echo. Mike, if you got your volume on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> he said, ooh. My bad. My bad. My bad. Nah, you're good. You're good. What is going on, man? How's everybody doing tonight in the chat? What's up? What's up? I got a very special guest. His name is Mike Cruz. He is the creator of the Cruiser wallets that you've been seeing and that just blew up all last year and even into this year. And he's here tonight with me. Thank you for being a new subscriber. Let me move the freaking alert boxes over. Um, but yeah, so I got you here tonight, my guy. Super excited. We got a lot of stuff to just chat about. I got some questions for you, but you also have some stuff to unbox tonight, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dope. So it looks like we're going to be unboxing some gear. And then I'm just going to be shooting the shit with Mike. I'm just going to be asking him some questions. I do have a hard stop here in about an hour, but we're going to get through all this stuff. So first, before we get everything started, let's just recognize who's here in the chat. Alpha Prime EDC is first. He says, Waka Pow. Thank you so much for being a member, my friend. And then we got Pocket Filth in the building. Geo, so woo, what's going on, my guy? Thank you for also being a member. EDC Knife and Tool Trevor, a member as well. Thank you so much for being here. Knives are life. What is up? How are you? Welcome. We got AJ Fernandez, Everyday Adventure Co. Brandon, what's up? Asylum00, howdy, he says. How are you? Thank you for being here. I'm me. Yo, yo, killer, what's up? What is going on? Chris Valdez, what's up? Thank you for being a member and being here tonight. Sid Bones from Canada. How you doing, my friend? Sid, I owe you one, but here's your wrist check. And Trevor, I got you guys right here. Monterey watch. This is the black tip standard in green. They call this a Starbucks. Yep. Got you guys right there. D-Roy, what is going on also, my guy? Hello and welcome, everybody, to the live stream. Mike Cruz is here. Mike, before we hey, get into the nitty-gritty... Yes, sir. What did so, you carry today, my friend? Um, what was so in them my, pockets? My uh, EMP EDC uh, Nimble. Ooh, that's a small and one. Black. I I always thought it was larger than that. It, it is big. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is there like a bigger version though? I don't think so. I think this is only best. Oh, I guess it's just the. If you want to compare it, uh, it's just a little bigger than I i3t okay okay i see that yep so uh, i'm carrying the i3t in carbon fiber and then i just recently got this tenshu from uh, uh yoshizaki oh yeah geo is a big yoshizaki guy Yo, that's it's, the it's only really way nice. i've been able to hold one so <laughs> <laughs> i think the one who got the shoto i think the uh -huh. small uh the one the, the fidgy thing one Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Dope, man. What about you, man? What did you carry today? What did I carry? So I've been doing this thing called EDC 60 and it's 60 okay, seconds. Yeah, yeah. I just showcase what I carried for the day. So and for those of you yesterday. that have, what's that? You tagged me yesterday. I did. I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> uh, so for today I carried my EDC and me clicker, and this is with the pocket filth keycaps. Your boy also carried the Open Sea Leather Hubei 2.0. Mm. And then the Bard in Multicam Black, because you know me, I love me some Multicam Black. So this is the Bard 2.0. I got TPT slide right here. I got the Tactile Turn Zerk pen, short, lefty. I have an Olight Carbon Fiber i3T, the Vero Fulcrum. And then the knife is the Slicer Shark by Demco Knives. And that's this Shark Cub right here. Small guy. And that is, nice. oh, and you know what? I forgot to put in 
the EDC 60 today. This guy right here. So this is SFK by Swamp EDC. And I need one of those. Dude, I need one of those. I love this thing, man. And right here, so Just that, that yeah. is interchangeable. So this thing just comes out, boom, goes back on, you know? I like that. Yeah. And you got your Gundam hat on. Um, Gio, he was saying, uh, I want that hat, Mike. How, did I, how do I get one? Oh, yeah, dope, <laughs> dude. Yeah, when's that going to hit the market? We need to know what's up, you know? What was that? It's it's been, uh we'll we'll probably offer it soon. Okay, okay. Little Gundam skull action, gun skull action. You the know what artwork I'm is by Brett. by you? Brett of uh, Ink. It's it's by uh Brett Brett uh, of Inky. Ooh. He uh he made the artwork for me. Hmm. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I got you skipping a little bit here, Mike, but you're catching on. That's good. In case you guys are wondering, Mike is streaming from the Philippines. He is he is not in the States. So for those of you that are in the chat, and you're wondering where he's from. He's from the Philippines. And that is... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All right. You got Clear, you. Clear, man. You froze. You froze. All right. Well, let's get into unboxing. You got a package. I got a package. I don't got much today, so that's good because I'm going to bang through these questions here. And then you and I have a collaboration that I want to show everybody and I'm super excited about. But first off, just want to say thank you again. Thank you to the guests. And my first question here, and you can unbox your package if you want. But I want to know, how did your passion for EDC start? And I don't want to um, misconstrue like the questions from your Carry Culture Carrie. podcast. So by the way, if you guys haven't seen Mike's Carry Culture podcast episode, peep it. And I really want to keep that separate because I know a lot of the guests there I have on as guests as well. But I wanted to ask you that, like, how did your passion for EDC start? Well, it's it's the same answer um, as the one I gave uh, during my interview for uh, Carry Culture. Uh, it was my dad. Um, he uh, he gave me my very first EDC tool. Uh, he gave me a mini uh, Swiss Army knife uh, mini champ. Mm. So uh, I think my uh, my fascination with like tools started from there. So. Uh, uh, for a, for a very long time, I just collected like Swiss Army knives, and then it was just recently that uh, I got into uh, knives and then like uh, like the other EDC gear. Yeah, I, I really don't want to get into like the the knife. I just want to like um, I just want to cover like the tip. I don't want to like go dive in because I know it's another rabbit hole. Oh, for uh, sure, one hundred percent. It definitely is. That's dope, man. So it started with Swiss Army Knives, of course, your dad. There's always someone that kind of pioneered it for us, you know, and told yeah, us how. He has to... his own collection. He has his own what? He has his own collection, too. He okay. has his own collection. So, oh, he's into uh, it, too. He, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he's into a Swiss Army Knife. Because, like, um, my dad used to, he always traveled in Europe. So when he went to uh, Switzerland, like, he always buys a... Uh, Army knife, so uh, he always like me. The, the very first one that he gave me, like, uh, uh, yeah, he gifted me one. That's dope, dude. Yeah, and Swiss Army knives, like, they're quality stuff. I have a couple sacks yeah. myself, and they've been holding up it's... for quite a long time. The only thing I changed uh, from the one my dad gave me is the scales. It yeah. wasn't broken. It was just that uh, I wanted it black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had to change it from the red. I had to change it to to black. Right, uh, right. That's dope, man. That's dope. I unboxed my first package, and want to show you here. So this is from Caver Joe. Caver Joe, I came across this stuff 
on Geo's live stream, actually. And Geo unboxes on his live stream, and he's like, hey, man. Or he jumped on one of my live streams not too long ago also, and he's like, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna pitch in with your giveaway so you can give one of these away. It's a matador. That's what it is. Let me take one out of the package so that way you get a closer look as to what that is. Oh, come on, focus. Boom. So this is the matador. I got one for the giveaway and one for myself. So yeah, super excited about that. What you got? You got a package you unbox? Yeah, uh, where should I start? Okay, I got a package from Trevor. Trevor, Trevor EDC Dent. Knife and Tool? Yep, from Trevor. So Trevor, um, cause I think it was your last, uh, um, what was that? Oh, I think during Geo's uh, interview. Yeah. So uh, I was, uh, I think you guys showed like uh, his, uh, his uh, RE and I wasn't able to get one. And then oh. Trevor messaged me that uh, he was going to uh, hook me up. Thanks no. man, thanks Trevor. Hell yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, he hooked me up with some uh, stickers. Oh, yeah. some slaps. Some pocket fill yeah. slaps. Let me open this. Yeah, while you do that, let me get open on this one right here, too. Ooh, what is that? Oh, okay. Oh, the blacked out dubs? Of course it's blacked out. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. The blacked out dubs from Trevor hooking it up, dude. That's dope, man. That's Thanks, dope. Trevor. Trevor with a hookup. Nice. Well, since we're on the patch unboxing tip, this is from our boy Art. Donut have one. He hooked me up with this donut patch right here. He also, yeah. So if you guys don't know who this is from, this is from Donut Have One. Is that Art. the one with the, uh, like the bullets sprinkles? Uh, these don't look like bullet sprinkles. These just look it, like he a regular. Okay. okay. Let me see. Does he have one? No, I don't have a bullet sprinkle one. This is just that one right there. And then I also have... Um, so Knives Are Live says, whose donut patch is that? It's uh, Donut Have One is his handle on Instagram. And then these are little bacon strips. All right. That he sent me. And then he also sent... This is how I came across his stuff. Boom. Halo... So yeah, he, he sent this white one with the orange center. It's like an egg. He hooked me up too with a blackout version. But check this out, man. Check this out, man. So he See? got the camo. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, he got the camo right there. Little Halo action. I grew up on Halo, man. And then... This one, obviously, I'm super excited about because it is multi-cam black. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, buddy. So I'm stoked to have that. Super stoked. But yeah, add that to that. Uh, next question I want to ask you, bro, mm -hmm. is on the Carry Culture podcast, you had stated that your your family owns a croc farm, which supplies mm -hmm. like leathers to a lot of the uh, like big name designers and companies that are out there, right? Um, and I wanted to ask, like, are you still very part of the family business? And if so, what? What's your role? Like, what exactly do you do? Okay, yeah, yes, I'm very much part of uh, the family company. Um, 
what I do with them right now. I don't know if you guys saw that I, I'm always like traveling, right? Yeah. I'm always traveling is because I'm trying to find clients for our crocodile skin. So I went to Dubai, I went to Japan, I went to Thailand. I'm actually leaving for Thailand next week to, to meet a client. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, so we'll be showing our crocodile skins. Um, so I'll be bringing some samples and then uh, uh, they're going to check it out. And then, yeah. So um, I'm the one in charge for like uh, finding new clients. Um, and then uh, I also try to uh, try to develop um, finished goods like uh, handbags, ladies' handbags. That's why like I have access to the leather. That's why it was easy for me to when for the cruiser, um, I was able to use the crocodile skin. So I have access to uh, uh, people like uh, hand uh, um, uh, craftsmen. So that's why. It's too easy, so, yeah, I'm, man. I'm so very... It's too <laughs> easy. So do you ever get stopped and question like, hey, because you probably have a catalog of like crocodile skins with you. And they're like, why do you have all these things? Yeah, like at customs or whatever it well, is. Well, for me, because we're we're legit, so I'm not afraid to be um, to be questioned. Yeah. Um, most of the time, I'm the one lecturing. Like, for example, like a TSA TSA agent. Right. Okay. I give you a story. I was I was going to Louisiana. I think it was like 2014. I was wearing a. Uh, crocodile belt and uh -huh. then I was really showing it to the TSA agent that I'm wearing a, a crocodile belt I wanted them to like uh, I wanted them to say something because uh -huh. uh, I wanted to know uh, what are the like the rules and reg regulations uh, pertaining to uh, leather goods right yeah uh, but so when when he asked and then uh, I was actually the one who lectured him that uh, in the international law, um, we're allowed four uh, items, uh, uh, personal effects. So I could have like a crocodile belt, crocodile uh, wallet, crocodile watch strap, um, crocodile bag. So you're allowed. But yeah. more than that, if you're carrying it in your person, that's the only time they could uh, say something and uh, confiscate your, your items. Wow. So, oh, well, look at that. Those are all the tips <laughs> if you're if you're traveling with some crocodile skin. Wait, most most of the time um, uh, they don't say anything, especially if it's a if it's just something small. Yeah. Uh, and if it's used, maybe if uh, uh, if they see it in your luggage, then it's 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 packaged and then it's meant for selling. Maybe mm -hmm. they would say something and they would confiscate it. But if it's if it's just uh, if you're using it. It's, it's for you. I don't think uh, you'll have any problems. Ah, okay. Well, look at that. I just learned something new. That's pretty dope. I always wondered too. So now that explains it. You travel a lot because of work and you meet clients yeah, yeah. and other vendors and stuff like that uh, that you want to sell to wholesale, right? Essentially. So, yeah. So um, after work, that's the time like I go around like taking photos of... Uh, my EDC. That's why, I, if you guys see my Instagram account, it, it's I've been to a lot of places. I've been to a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, man. I travel by vicariously through your posts. <laughs> so that's <pretty> cool. <laughs> nice. Well, let me ask you another question. I unboxed something here, but it's the same tangent. So you travel quite a bit, and I'm curious, what EDC gear? is in your typical rotation when you do because aren't you afraid of your gear maybe getting confiscated by tsa and other countries and stuff like that or i mean you it sounds like you travel to a lot of the same countries so you have an idea of what their rules are but i'm curious maybe the chat is as well what's your typical loadout when you do that um so when i go international um I don't carry my knives. I just carry a Swiss knife, but I I check it in. It's not in my it's not in my uh, um, what do you call this? Uh, On your person. He froze. 
or he's thinking really hard about it right now. Mike. All right, he's, he's going to come back. But while he's frozen or he's thinking hard about it. No, I lost him. I lost him. Damn it. He's right here. He's right here. All right, you're back on, dude. Can you hear us? He don't froze again. He don't froze again, man. Okay, while he's figuring that out. Osan, what's up? I saw you kick in the door. What's up, my guy? Okay. So while he's figuring that out, just want to show you guys what I got here, okay? Boom. This is a hat from Rydex brand. He's like the OG Velcro hat. Came across his brand from... Um, damn, what's his name? I came across his brand from Alan. How can I forget? Alan Unk, what's in my pockets? He has one of these hats. And Rydex brand, like Geo had stated, is local. He's actually from Nevada. He's from Henderson. And I was able to chop it up with him. And he's like, yeah, man, I'll send you a hat. I'll send you uh, some patches that I make as well. And that's how we got connected. And he sent your boy some goodies. So I'm going to throw this on right now. It looks like Matt's, Matt, Mike is coming in. Boom. Can you hear us, bro? Yeah, I can hear you guys. Can Bam. You hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. While you were uh, frozen yeah. there, I was just showing what I unboxed. This is Rydex brand Velcro hat. And it all right here in the front is Velcro. So I can rock all the homies REs on here yeah. and everything. That's pretty dope. But you were stating that you carry a, uh, you typically carry a Swiss army knife with you when you travel. Yeah, but I check it in. I don't carry it on. Okay. Um, check it. The usual, the usual uh, things I carry on are my flashlight is okay. Uh -huh. uh, pen. And then um, just some, just some pocket art, uh, some, uh, uh coins and then um uh yeah just like small items does um, a beer bomb ever get through i i haven't tried didn't you try that i i, I haven't I think no you... i haven't tried getting through with a beer bomb yet i'm scared no, i just don't um, want it to get like taken away you know yeah yeah me too man like i, I haven't i haven't tried it yeah uh, so i just i just carried it on I mean, I just uh, check it in. Yeah. Um, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, man. Well, that's the hat right there. In case you guys are interested in this, this is the Rydex brand Velcro hat. It's a snapback hat. It's typically a flat bill, but I like bending the bill because I don't like it super flat. That's just the way I rock my hats. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Well, thank you for answering that question, Mike. Do you have anything else you unbox? Yeah. What you got? So this one's from uh, Castle and Grayscale. Castle and Ooh, CXG. I haven't. Yes. I don't have a CXG product. Really? I just haven't anything? fallen. I haven't fallen for the height. I haven't. That's also what I said about Reese, but you know, look at this. Yeah. You know? Is that is that a set? Yeah, it's it's their new set. It's their let me take it out. Yeah. Peep game, peep game, please. Ah, uh, I just saw a post about that too. That's dope. The gamer girl? Yeah. And then they got the uh, blackout, yeah. Actually, I got this because of the black hour party. The controllers, right? Yeah. That's sick. Very nostalgic. Yeah, I don't have any CXG stuff. If it was gifted to me, 100%. But I see... And, and the prices when they drop, like when they actually drop, they're fairly reasonable. 
Yeah, it's, it's not it's not bad. It's just the secondary market. Oh my um, gosh, the secondary like triples the price. It's insane. Yeah, I, I think the the most I paid for a C, uh, CXG item was like I don't even want to think about it. But since <laughs> we're talking about it, um, for one piece, yeah, two fifty. Two fifty for one patch. Yeah. Bro, um, I needed it because I I, I'm collecting like the the set, so okay, I, okay. I needed it. Yeah, you had to if, catch them all. I don't know if you, you guys know? are familiar. Um, I don't know if like the guys in the chat room are familiar. It's the the carts, it's the CXG carts, like the Game Boy, and then like the cartridge. Yes. So, um, they've been uh, they've been releasing that. So I try to complete it. At first, like I just wanted like the blackout one, and uh -huh. then it just from from there, like I just wanted to collect it. Spiraled, bro. You done fell down yeah. the rabbit hole. That's for sure. That's dope. Pocket Phil sells blackout. See, he says blackout gamer mic. Is that the one you were talking about? Yeah, it's this one. Ah, oh, yeah. Yep. That's what it is. That's what it is sick man well let me ask you this next question here my friend because we were talking about it's on the same tangent you know i like how these things just work out it just flows like butter but for those that follow you or maybe that have just started following you there's this trend like on your posts and videos that you're in and it's blackout it's like blacked yeah. out stuff why is that like what's your fascination about it don't get me wrong like i love i also like um, colored stuff okay but, um, for those people that know me um i like everything like neat and organized yeah i don't like i don't like it when uh when something gets dirty for example like for sure you guys have have experienced this uh when you guys have like a black and white patch and then like it gets dirty yeah like for me, when it gets dirty, I'm gonna try to uh, to clean it. But if I can't clean it, I'm not gonna use that patch anymore. Really? Uh, it's just gonna stay in my collection. So I'm I'm trying to stay away from from the colored ones because like it get, it gets dirty easily. I do. So uh, and um, for me, like the black, like all my stuff are black, not just like my EDC stuff. Like I have like my bags, my uh, like. Majority, like ninety nine percent of my stuff are like black. So, yeah, clothing, uh, apparel, yeah. accessories, so, black. It's out. just that uh, I, I see it. I don't know. It, there's just something with black. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, yeah, for for the res, uh, it doesn't get dirty easily if it's black. Uh, and then it's just so nice to look at. <laughs> yeah, I I personally get frustrated when I'm wearing jeans. And then I slide yeah, yeah. like a pouch or a cruiser in my pocket. And I got maybe some white on the patches. And not even white, just lighter colors in general. And it yeah. bleeds on the PVC. I'm like, damn. You know? Yeah, especially with the white ones. Like, oh, you're yeah. Gonna, for sure. You're... Big time, big then, time. Yeah. That's dope, man. That's dope. So, yeah, you, you don't go, you, you're never going to go wrong in black. That's yeah. why, I like, right now, um, I don't know for for all the makers out there i'm always like trying to message them and then try to convince every maker to make like a blackout patch yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like dm and like uh for example like um uh, if they release something that i really like i try to message them to come out with a like a black version of it like a blackout and some people they do they do uh they do listen to me yeah so I'm, I'm i'm happy with the there's a market out there, dude. Like my f my favorite Waka Pow patch that I've released is the blackout one for sure. It's just clean. It's yeah. Simple. I still have some, by the way. Not a shameless plug because this is my live stream. So if you are interested in a blacked out Waka Pow patch, hit your boy up. You have patches for sale too, right? Is there is that still on sale or no? Um. So if, for those people following me on my uh, Facebook group and Instagram. Um, I posted yesterday that I just shipped uh, some for my uh, 
collab with Icky. Uh, just shipped some uh, Cruiser 5.0 and some patches. So the patch that it's included in the package, um, so it's going to be released in the U.S. market. It's my uh, Japanese nameplate. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see that. So uh, uh, it'll be available soon. Um, uh, you guys can uh, get it from uh, the Inky website. So uh, Alan is helping me with uh, Big Bro. Alan is helping me uh, sell those in the states. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, man. Alan's a freaking man, dude. If yeah. it wasn't, if it wasn't for Alan, I wouldn't have met you. Alan <laughs> is the like piece, you know. If there's, if anyone drew out like an EDC web of everything that branches out to one another for collaborations or whoever meets people, Alan is that guy. He's in the center of that thing, dude. Yeah. So. I just saw in the, the chat room, um, Geo's going to make uh, blackout patches for, for the rest of the year. Damn! Yo. And they're going to sell, forward. too. And they're going to sell. For it's sure. going to be a hit. Yeah, for that's sure. for sure. Uh, Rudy's in here. He says, VanQuest Dendrite versus Snack Time Slick. Oh, you know what? I think I just replied to your comment on one of my videos. I would love to make a video comparison. I just don't have a dendrite. If someone wants to send me a dendrite for a review, I'll give it back to you. If you want to send me a dendrite for a review, I have the CT5, the CT3, the CT4W, and I have the Snack Time Sling. All multicam black. If you want to send me a dendrite, I'll do a video for you. 100%. Let's see. All right. So I have another package. I got one too. What do you think it is? company that sends all of their packages in this pink bubble wrap case you ever dealt with them before oh light oh light yeah they always send it in this pink bubble wrap dude so oh light i've already kind of worked with before but when geo and i went to shot show i rekindled the relationship with okay. the uh influencer manager that was there and i was like yeah man i really like these lights and sure enough he sent it <laughs> so he sent the o light arcfeld pro and he also sent the baton in green i've always wanted to get the, the other one what, what do you call that one? this one the, the arcfeld yeah. yeah i've always wanted to get one but it, it's not cheap man it's uh it's a pr uh, it's a pricey guy it's a pricey would, guy, that's for sure. Can I ask you a favor? Would you be able to test it out with a cruiser? Because I want to see if it, it fits perfectly with a cruiser. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. So if it, it fits nice with a cruiser, uh, I'll probably get one. Yeah, I'll show you. I mean, we have a cruiser to show on this live stream, yeah. so, you know? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, 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 exactly. We're, we're going to do that. Yeah. Uh, so, Arkfeld Pro. I think because that one's flat, right? Not like your typical uh, flashlight that it's rounded. Yes. So I think the flat one is perfect for the cruiser. Yeah, this one is a lot bigger. I have the Arkfeld UV, and then this is the Arkfeld Pro. So if you're looking at the size comparison, this is the UV right here, and this is the Pro. See how it's like longer? And it's also, I want to say, a little thicker. Yeah, definitely a little thicker than the UV. Which one did you get right now? The, the Pro? The Pro. So the Pro has the laser. It also has the UV. And it has the regular yeah. flashlight. And you said it's a little thicker, right? Yes, and it's a little thicker. And that's my thing. Because I had the Olight laser, which I'm gifting yeah. to uh, Chris Valdez, by the way. He was a winner of my giveaway. So another unshameless plug, if you want to become a member of my channel, you can do so. There's going to be a join option at the, at the bottom of this video, or it's in the description of my video, but I'm gifting it to him. He's going to get the Arkfeld laser. I have the Arkfeld UV and now I have the Arkfeld pro and I just use the Arkfeld UV over the weekend because the family um, and I went on a trip. So I used the UV at the hotel that we stayed at. You know, to make sure everything was cool and dandy. And sure enough, it was. But, yeah. It's dead. There's an indicator right there that tells you. 
and yeah so that's dead and then laser yeah i can't show anything but that is the arcfeld pro so already this is going to be way too big for the cruiser i'm already kind of doing a size comparison but if you get the uv the uv fits perfect i think you just have to take out the, the clip right no it looks better without the clip yeah you can put the clip on there i'll show you in a little bit what do you got though you got a you got a package yeah yeah, yeah. so this one's a care package from our friends from uh carry culture so josh mm. and uh, uh chris yes so they sent me a care Oh, so, what is that? Let me try. Oh, there's a note. There's a note. I'm we already jealous. We appreciate the support. Please don't show off the blackout just yet. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm gonna I'm gonna DM them oh. right now. Be like, hey man, I didn't get the blackout. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> Am I allowed to show this? <laughs> just, a, just a peek, no? Just a peek. Henry? Just a peek. Nah, I do my, I might get in trouble. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That's dope, man. Okay, I want so that. I want up. that. What? Geo has one too. I, I'm heated, man. Oh, yep. I got that. I sure I think do. They're giving this to uh, their guests, right? Yeah. 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 It's pretty dope. And then like they that. gave me some slaps. Nice, nice. Alpha Prime says, Mikey, show the watch. You know what it is, man. Monterey, baby. Monterey Watch Co. So if you guys want one of these, your boy got 25% off. Mikey BA gets you 25% off these watches. Look at the blackout. I want that, dude. I'm in. I am in for the blackout. <laughs> they're probably gonna come out with a release too you yeah know, you just gotta you just gotta chill you just gotta chill i think they just wanted to promote the, the red one yeah did you so, get the red one no i didn't get the red one i want that i want to collect them all dude just okay. like your cxg i want to do that with all the carry cultures true true because it's not just supporting the homies too there's supporting there's a message the there's there's also a message behind just the carry culture you know i want to yeah. encourage everybody to carry more responsibly and in a practical manner you know but this is <laughs> damn what the uh, this is magnetic right here in case you guys are wondering so it has a magnetic bottom and just sticks on like so this is already a qualm of mine right here boom this usb a we need usb c o light come on change that and so that way, you know, that can all be compatible there. But that is my qualm on that light. I think they did USB-C, though, on the Baton 4, if I'm not mistaken. But let's do this. So. Yo, I know this is not part of the program, but can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. What what bag do you carry? Can I see your, your bag? So l lately, lately, this has been my work bag. Is that CT 15? 15. 15 is like my sweet spot. Mike Bishop, what's up, dude? Welcome in. Osan, what's going on? Hey, hey, so this is my current work bag. CT 15, multicam black. And, you know, I got, I got the homies on here, right? got it right there too um this is what i've been carrying for work i did get sent a bag which i'm going to mine? unbox when i get a chance but yeah let's see yours ct21 ct21 dude i i got the ct21 right here too multicam black baby what's up for me, like the CT21 is so perfect, uh, perfect size for me because I'm a big guy. So yeah. the 21 is perfect. And then I don't know if you guys can see it, but 
Uh, so this is the CXG silencer. Yeah. And then I got Stacks uh, RE, uh, Geo's Pocket Felt, the black um, no Nintendo. Yeah. And then uh, EDC, <sighs> and then mine, and then um, uh, my friend here in the Philippines, uh, Roy, uh, he has his own patch. And then uh, 52 Graves, because um, I'll be having a collab with him. We can talk Ooh! about that later. Oh. Man, we're just then, dropping, uh, we're dropping dimes here, huh? I don't know. I, I actually messaged him earlier. Uh, yeah. I was asking if I was asking <clears throat> permission if I could say that uh, we're gonna have a collab with. Yeah. Um, I, guess, I guess it's okay. That's uh, not, it's gonna come out anyway, regardless. You know. I I chatted yesterday. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's gonna come out like this month, so it's gonna be a, a death cookie. Ooh. Guess the color. Guess black. the color. Blackout. Huh? It's gonna be all black. It's it's awesome. I saw it. It's really nice, dude. That's sick, man. Um, it was one of the reasons that uh, I I reach out to him through um uh CDC Crispy Donut uh, community. They were thought... to hook me up with uh, Aaron. Oh, that's dope. Two graves. Yeah, yeah, they were on his because they're uh, homies, right? Yeah, they were on his their live like not too long ago. I remember that. Yeah, that's dope. That's so, dope, bro. Uh, yeah, we'll be having my uh, blackout uh, uh, death cookie. Ooh. I'm I'm excited for that one. I'm very excited for that. Cause oh, yeah, uh, when I started with the EDC, because uh, uh, I I started collecting like the PVC patches, um, twenty. I I went before you. I think it was 2020, 2022, I think. Uh huh. October twenty twenty two. So uh, that was the time like I, I started collecting, and then I, I I really got into like the EDC, like what we have now, like the community. Right. So I saw. I saw the death cookie and it was one of my grail uh, bucket trash. So um, I really, really wanted one. Um, so me being able to collab with him and then uh, releasing my own version of the 52 Graves uh, death cookie, it's just like a dream. It's just like, a wow, I, I, I came a long way from just trying to get a grail uh, death cookie and now collabing with him. So it's, it's just it's just been crazy it's uh it's an awesome journey so far yeah man all the people that you've been linking with super dope it's it's the year of collaborations i feel yeah for me so, personally uh, like that's you know that's what i want to do this year i just want to collab with a lot of yeah, content it, creators makers all that dude collabs coll collabs are fun it's uh, it's just um especially when you're working with, like for me like those are my idols like those are like i'm, I'm fan of like 52 graves and like stacks uh, uh oeg so yeah. imagine like collabing with them yeah and then uh, mikey, daily, mikey daily carry yeah uh, yeah yeah dude that's sick so, man i'm i'm honored i'm honored let me let so, me show this real quick before i jump into our collab how about we do that go ahead man. this is the baton four or this is the baton four, is it? Or is it just the baton? No, it's the baton four. So this is the baton four, and this is in green. So it has a wireless charging case. Oh, so you take that out. Oh, it looks like there's an indicator right there in the front, 75%. Small little light, but I love the green. The green and gold. Something about it just gives me like Green Goblin vibes, yeah. you know, and it's super sick. So you put it in, it just slides in, magnetically charges, the case charges it. Um, or there's also a section right here on the bottom where I think you can connect the charger for the Pro to it if you don't want to put it in the case. This case itself also charges other devices like your phone. I don't know if it'll charge like a laptop or iPad. I'll give it a shot. But it comes with USB-C. See, they listen for the Baton 4. The USB-C, yeah. boom. They got it right there. 
but that is your boy right there small little guy can't wait to test this out do a review and check it out it's not gonna fit in the cruiser it's not it's, gonna it's nah. too thick for the cruiser. too big huh it's too thick yeah not recommended by me okay it's too thick that's good to know you, you could but um because for me like uh shameless plug again uh for the cruiser i intended the cruiser to be like really uh minimalist so yeah. as much as possible like uh for me like i think the perfect knife for uh the cruiser uh besides now it's the um emp edc nimble for me yeah because i collaborate with, with john anyways yeah. um but it was the uh bench made uh, mini bug out oh i think it's the one of the perfect uh, knives for the cruiser because it's it's lightweight and uh, it's reliable yeah uh, it's it's thin so um that's the one i was carrying uh with my cruiser for for a long time yeah that's dope nice man well since we're on this topic i just want to show you guys okay boom you guys see it here first this is the mike cruz mikey daily carry collaboration for the cruiser 4.0 it's multi-cam black dirty do you know what's up man welcome in multi-cam black all right you got your two elastics right there you got a pen section right here the back is black velcro which may be changing soon to that okay you guys are seeing it here first but imagine this wallet with that velcro all right in addition to that something that's a little different from other cruisers is the inside yeah, you see I that didn't... high viz high viz orange mike cruz's signature right in there that's high viz orange leather folks leather okay on a leather multicam black cruiser and you're gonna have multicam black velcro on the back like so this is a prototype this is a prototype we're still working out the kinks i'm still testing things out um you know like for example the velcro the velcro gonna be on the back of this i mean like look how fire that's going to look that's gonna be the back of it yeah. and then you got that on the front like come on come on all right and then you got your orange inner phytonics what's up ian welcome and then you got your phytonics because or you got your phytonics you got your orange leather because i'm a huge fan of high viz like interior on my bags, my slings, packs, everything. And so, yes, you guys see it here first. I've been holding this for Sorry. like the longest time. I just want to answer a, a question in the chat room. Yeah, yeah, go for uh, it. Go for it. Dirty Dino, uh, Mike, do you raise orange gators? Um, first, oh, shoot, orange uh, gators? My, uh, my uh, crocodile uh, specialist uh, um, thing is, uh, I just want to educate you guys. So there's 27 different species of uh, crocodiles and alligators. So the ones you guys have in the States are, are alligators. You guys don't have crocodiles. Uh, oh. So here in the Philippines, we have uh, crocodiles. So in our farm, um, we have the top tier uh, crocodile skin used by the, uh, by the luxury brands, right? So your question, if we raise orange gators, no, but when we tan the skins, we can have it done orange. So if that answers your question. Ah, look at that. You learn something new every day, every day. You know, it's, it's, it's really interesting, like uh, working with, uh, with like those kinds of animals. Cause you cannot have like an off day for example, like being drunk uh going to work and then you fall off like the the breeder cage you're gonna die so you always have to have your a game because yeah. imagine falling falling at the uh the crocodile area they're they're gonna they're gonna eat you man so you cannot have an off day you should always be sharp when working with crocodile because you're gonna get hurt 
My um, what is this? Geo says, "What do you guys do with the meat, Mike? After you skin the Crocs, longanisa?" <laughs> Uh, we haven't tried longanisa, but we tried crocodile barbecue and then crocodile seasick and then uh, what? Yeah, yeah, it's, Is it's it pretty good? good. It's actually healthier than pork, to be honest. What? It's healthier than pork because it doesn't have so much fat. Crocodiles doesn't what? have so much fat. So, uh, uh, what the heck? I'm gonna visit yeah. you in the Philippines so I can have some croc seasick, bro. Yo, I'll hook you up, man. <laughs> For sure, like I think, um, Jesus, um, is he coming here this year or next year? I'll, I'll make sure to let him try some crocodile seasick. That'll be dope. That'll be dope. All right. So um, uh, as go, go for it. What were you saying? Asylum said haven't had crocodile, but alligator is pretty common in Florida. I've tried alligator alligator bites in um, Louisiana. Um, Taste wise, I think they're they're similar. Mm. They're uh, they're a bit similar in taste, or yeah, they're they're like it depends on like how you cook it. I'm not a chef, I'm not an expert, but sometimes it tastes like like fishy. Mm. That's the that's the, the texture. Hey, I like I like the the taste of the sea, dude. My oysters, so I'm a big oyster guy. I don't even put yeah. all that fancy shit on it. I just put small drops of lime, and the more it tastes like the ocean, the better it is for me, dude. <laughs> That's my thing. All right, I loaded this up. So nice. here's a look of my first loadout on the cruiser. I got my Zerk tactile turn lefty pen short. So if you guys are trying to figure out what type of pen fits in it, that does. Right here in the middle, I have my Slicer Shark Shark Cub by Demco. And then right here, I had my Olight i3T in there with a little bit of a space. So I put the Vero Fulcrum there as well. And then on the back, you have a lot of real estate for your Rees. And I put our boy Arts Donut Have One patches back there. But you can really mess with a lot of different stuff. And that right there is your first look of a loaded out MCB Cruiser 4.0. A collaboration between me and Mike Cruz. Bam! Waka pow, baby! So, still working things out. I think, um, so, so Mike, we're going to put my logo right here, right? Yeah. So, we're going to put my logo right there. And then, we are going to put Velcro, Multicam Black Velcro on the back and well, that's that's pretty much the changes that we talked about so far yeah. um, the reason we're not rushing is we want it to be perfect we're, we're testing out all the materials so uh for me uh, personally i don't want to release something that uh in the long run like the client will have problems so i'd rather have it like it's going to take a long time but we fixed all the problems yeah uh then it's going to turn out really nice so I'd, yeah so it's coming soon, though. It's coming real soon. Heck yeah, dude. This year for sure. I'm super excited for it. I am super excited for it. But <clears throat> I want to jump to this. I I pretty much unbox everything that I need to unbox. What about you? Yeah, I, I only had three. Okay, cool. Well, I want to ask. I want to do something fun. I do this with all of my live guests when I have them on here. And oh, by the way, sorry, I don't want to jump ahead too fast, but there are going to be collaboration attachments for this cruiser in multicam black. You guys have a visual right there. That is from our boy, High Tide EDC. He has the beer bomb slips. He posted a picture of it as well. If you guys don't follow him, do so. And he has a sneak peek of what that beer bomb slip is going to look like. But in addition to that, I don't know if you have the other attachment, but our other homie, Brandon, Everyday Adventure Co., who's going to be on here next week, has also made an attachment for this Cruiser 4.0. And if you guys haven't seen that, 
he just did a release with Mike Cruz about a week, two weeks ago. Do you have a yeah, do you have it, a a sample of it? It's in my other stuff. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Brandon. I don't have it. <laughs> he, he, if you even if you don't see it there, you'll see it. So if you follow Everyday Adventure Co. on Instagram, you'll see the attachment that's on there. Fits perfect on the back right here, and then you also have your beer bomb slip because you know Mike and I have a, a a good strong fascination for the notorious beer bomb so that's that's gonna be super dope but yeah i didn't want to skip over that and not mention it but there is going to be specific attachment collabs for this cruiser and that's why we're not in a rush we want to get yeah. everything in order we also have a couple other cruisers that are going to be coming out from our homies so the cruiser 6.0 you guys have seen that Mike's teased it. Alan Inky EDC has teased it. That's also going to come out. So we want to make sure that when these drops do come out, they're in a fashion where all of our homies can capitalize and get one for themselves. So, yeah. But now, you, yeah, go ahead. You want another tease? Because uh, um, I was talking to my craftsman the other day, and then. Um, after because you know how like right now we have the four the five six and then i teased like seven right yeah we got another one you want to you want to know what it is what what is it it's the cruiser light the cruiser lights so imagine just like a a, a normal card wallet so it's okay. that thin and then the other side is a uh, uh velcro for your re's or uh, you could put like your attachment. I really yeah. think that the future of uh, the cruiser are in the attachments. Exactly. Like what, what the the two Brandons are doing. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, that's going to be the future of uh, the cruiser because uh, people would would lo lo like to have the, their their gears right. So uh, I think the attachments are going to be uh, perfect. Yeah, that's dope. So I'll be, I'll be, I'm asking my uh, craftsman to do a, a prototype now. So, uh, for those who are not following me, um, I'll be posting it in my Facebook group and then uh, in my Instagram. So, if you guys want to see that uh, cruiser light, dude, that's sick! Like the Nintendo Switch light. Yeah, it's it's a light version. So, you're just really going to put like all your uh, like the important uh cards in it so you know like when you go to the club you just want to uh, you don't want to bring your uh, bifold wallet you just want to bring like your id and your credit card it's yeah. it's perfect for that Ooh. for that scenario and you and you still have to like rock your re's right so yeah yeah you gotta have the options for that damn i'm super excited man i can't wait to see that that's dope thank you for sharing that with the mikey daily for carrot sure. crew all right bro this is rapid fire question time. Are you ready for this? Yes. yes. All right. Dope. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions and whatever comes to mind first, you just give me that answer. Sound good? That's good, man. Dope. Ready. Dope. All right. So first one, folding knives or fixed blades? Folding knives. Folding knives. Thumb studs or flipper tabs? Oh, oh. I would say like flipper. Flipper tabs? Yeah. You don't like dealing with the thumb action much? Um, I like it too, but right now so I've been using the, the nimble. The MP, like the, yeah. it's, it's it's perfect. That has a couple opening mechanisms, right? Like it's like yeah, the yeah. hole, you got yeah, a front flip, and, and then you got a back flipper. Yeah. I actually I I, re I really recommend this plan. Uh go check it out, guys. Uh, That's sick. That's dope. Nice. All right. Next question. Backpacks or slings? Backpack. Backpacks. And then I was going to follow it up with that question. Like backpack of choice. Sounds like CT21. Right now, yeah. It's the CT. Um, I think it's, for me, I think it's the perfect like EDC uh, backpack. Yeah. Um, and, and the price, it's very uh, reasonable. So um, I think uh, everyone uh, will like the CT. Right, right. That's dope, man. Wait, second, I like the I like slings too. So inside my CD twenty one, I have the CD three. 
same as an organizer and then when i don't want to bring my backpack i use the ct3 as a sling yeah that's dope i got that idea from uh, best damn edc uh, taylor martin yeah uh, he was saying how like he uses the uh, uh his slings as an organizer and then when uh, when he uh when he has to use just like a small bag he uses the sling transfer right? it so over yeah. yeah man same thing i do that as well because sometimes you don't want to be lugging around a big backpack and that's why i have a sling in my backpack at times yeah dope dope uh pouches or leather edc organizers you know let me think <laughs> <laughs> leather organizer bro. leather all organizer day. Cruiser. okay cruiser all day cruiser all day brass or titanium titanium satin or dlc dlc that's hard but the dlc yeah i figured with your black theme you know you'd want yeah. to go with black dlc uh mcb or woodland camo you're gonna hate me for this man <laughs> uh woodland i like mcb but i'm fascinated with the with the greens and yeah the, you have a um, lot of woodland too i like when you and i first connected yeah, I noticed yeah. a lot of your po- you and Alan have a lot of woodland camo. Yeah, I, I'm I'm fascinated with the the colors to like the woodland. It's, it's, yeah. it's really cool, but I, I do like MCB too. Yeah, this one is gonna get you in a pickle because obviously your logo kind of changed to this, but you also have a fascination for the other. So Gundam or Pokemon? Okay, so when. You showed me like the questions uh, yesterday, and then when I saw this, yeah, it was, you're you're basically like asking me who do I love more, my wife or my my daughter. <laughs> but if I really have to pick one, because both for me like uh, Gundam and uh, Pokemon, I grew up with, the, with those two things, and I really love those two things. Likewise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for now, like if I have to pick, like, I, w- I would go like. Gundam. You go Gundam. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, go right All right. Uh, Nux or pry bars? Nux. Nux. I, okay. I actually don't own a pry bar. I need one. So what? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try to get a uh, from OEG. I need I need one. I need a black one. This is a Vero Fulcrum. Yeah, I, I don't have a pry bar. It's yours now. I'm going to send it to you. Serious? Yeah. Yo, thanks, man. You got it, man. I got you. Uh, so right here, PVC or embroidered patches? Well, my, uh, my love for patches started with embroidered. Okay. And then I just recently... Uh, uh, got into pvc but right now i would say pvc, PVC i think patches. it's uh i really like pvc and then second to that is woven woven patches like what i think this one's uh uh they do a lot of embroidered patches cxg yeah let me i have one <laughs> yeah they do a lot okay just give me a sec Pocket Phil says Mike needs a Nucka. Puyan in the house. What's up, bro? What's going on? iMac Death. What's up, man? Welcome. Welcome. Oh, okay. The little salt salt lady. Yeah. So this one's woven. It's, oh. it's really nice. Ooh. That's dope, dude. Yeah. Sublimated. Yeah. Yeah. Geo's right. The, this one's sublimated. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. He says you need a Nuck. So he said Nucks Naman. <laughs> Your collab, dude. You should do a collab with Geo and have it be Nux Naman. <laughs> we, we are, you're going to get jealous, man. What? You're going to get jealous. Another You're going to get jealous. All right. We're um, ending the live stream now. The live stream is done. Collabs are happening. So, I don't know about. We're done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, Geo sending me a Nakka. Yeah. And in return... I sent him a 6.0. No! <laughs> I told him, yo, Mikey's going to get jealous. But... Big time, dude. Big time. Big time, man. Nah. Boy, you're just going to follow. 
Yeah, regardless, I'm going to get one. I got to support the homies. You guys are freaking killing it. The 6.0 is the freaking top, dude. That's like the top cruiser. I love the 5.0 because sometimes I don't want to rock attachments on the cruiser. So yeah. I like having double side Velcro where I could just rock the homies patches and what have you. But the 6.0, dude, the bifold and then the double For, Velcro, that's dope. Do we still have time? Can I can I explain? Yeah, the of course, of course. For, this? For the 6.0, I think it's going to be one of the... All, all the cruiser models, it has its own uh, uh, best features, right? But yeah. for the 6.0, I think I... Because I love taking photos of my gear. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this solved the, the issue. You know how, like, people, like, they do the, the cruiser flip. Uh, yeah. So with that, you can show, like, both sides, right? With yeah. the 6.0, you can just, like, show it, like, um, just facing up. You yeah, don't have to do yeah. yeah, dude. You don't have to do it. It's clever. So, it's clever. It's, it's, and especially uh, with with our collabs with like uh, uh, High Tide EDC and uh, Everyday Adventure Co. Uh, that's why I, I say that uh, the attachments are like the future because you'll have an option what what you want to bring with you, right? Yeah, and super then if modular. You remove it, you can freak it out, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I think Psycho said it here. Uh, Tay said it here. He said, Barbarian brought in the house. What's up? He said three-way collab. Mike, Mikey, and Mike. All day, man. All day. Yo. I'm super I'm down for it. As long as it's... Yeah. He could design different Look logos I'll put on there. That'll be dope. That'll be dope. Nice. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, back to the questions that I'm going to ask you. I said the uh, patches one. Uh, beer bomb or Keystone? <laughs> you can only have one. The other one will not exist ever. You plead the fifth. <laughs> I would say Keystone. Keystone! Cause oh! he's collabing. Keystone because he's collabing with me. Oh, so okay, Tom, okay, if you're okay. watching, let's collab. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be on actually. I'm gonna have Tom on President's Day, which is February nineteenth. So for you you guys in the live wondering, Tom is confirmed. We're gonna have him. So it's not gonna be on a regular Tuesday. Like we're doing here, it's going to be on a holiday morning time, actually. So, yeah, that'll be dope. But Red Horse or San Miguel Beer? Red Horse. Red all Horse day. all day. Horse. Yeah, I like, I like Red Horse. Uh, favorite place you traveled to in 2023? There's two. Um, uh, Dubai and Japan. Ooh. But I would say Japan. Japan. Japan is just like you're in another world, man. So in another for those world. who for those who haven't visited Japan, you have to. I, I have um, that Dubai is just list. Dubai is so futuristic. Yeah. But I imagine Dubai being the first place to have like flying cars. If they don't have it already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like true. The Wakanda, if Wakanda was an actual place, Dubai would make it a reality before everybody yeah, else. Yeah. You just need all the vibranium, you know? All right. <laughs> Your favorite pouch to rock, Data Crew or GBG, Garage Built Gear? I love Data Crew, man. Like, I love them. <laughs> I love them. I love them, man. Uh, but I would say GBG. But Ooh. um in, in terms of patches, data crew, but with the pouch GBG. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, you're a lot of your uh I was doing a lot of research on your first few posts on your Instagram and the main yeah, pouch was, that you rocked or pouch. in rotation was GBG. 
for sure. Yeah, it was the GBG. But I, I really love uh, my uh, data crew pouch too. But this, the GBG, the Mighty Pouch, was the one that uh, I have several uh, colorway. Yeah, that's dope, man. Kai, what's going on? He says, sup, Kuyas. <laughs> what's up, dude? Uh, watching. All right. So next question. Watching review videos or joining in on live streams? Which would you prefer? Which do you like better? If I was shy, I would just do like, I'll just watch reviews. But I love the live streams, man. So yeah. I would say live stream. Real time. You know, there's no buffer. I'm not editing anything. You know, this is all. This is all organic, you know. We're just shooting right off the dome. It just sucks that my uh, my my Wi-Fi is bad here. Not like you guys in the states. You guys have better Wi-Fi, but uh, data speed. Is it five G in the Philippines too, or L or what is it? Um, yeah, there's some areas that uh, there are five G, but there's some areas that can't reach that five G yet. So yeah, yeah. But I'm in the city, so. It should be good. It should be good. The... Yeah. That's dope, man. That's dope. All right. Last question for you. You ready? Go for it. Cruiser 4.0, Cruiser 5.0, or the Cruiser 6.0. You can only choose one to rock ever. All the other renditions will never exist, will not be made. You can only rock one. Rest of your life, what is it? <laughs> so I probably I probably gave you options of like your wife, your daughter, and maybe your favorite crocodile. <laughs> Which one's it gonna be? Uh all the models have it's it's uh all the models are, are like special to me yeah but if i really just have to like pick one yeah uh, i think it's a 6.0 6 6.0 uh it's it because the 6. Point, that's the 6. Point, is because the 6.0 uh it, it it covers like a lot of uh uh there's more features you can do more with a 6.0 like yeah. content wise like when you do your pictures videos um, and it's more organized but each each model has its own thing man like so it's it's really hard uh just to go in more detail there's some days that i just wanted like a slim wallet so i go for the 4.0 right. and there's some days that i don't want to bring gear so i have to have like the 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 5.0. Mm -hmm. I just want to rock my patches. The 6.0, if you want your cards to be organized and carry your patches and at the same time your gear, it's the 6.0. So if I just have to like pick one that I'm going to use forever, I think I would go for the 6.0. That's dope, dude. So ready for the 6.0. Yeah, you got it right, AJ. I'm excited, ready man. Ready for the 6.0. I'm excited. I'm going to borrow Geo's. <laughs> I'm super excited for that. That's going to be dope. Well, Mike, that concludes the actual questions and pretty much the live stream. I just want to thank you so much for your time joining in and being a part of this. And I want to just uh, give you the time to share, you know, what can we expect from you for the rest of this year? Also, where can people find you on your socials, maybe on your Facebook group? You know, what What about you can we uh, get for all of the people watching right now? So, yeah, I just would like to thank you, Mikey, for having me uh, uh, in your show. Um, you guys can find me in my Instagram. For those who are not following me, follow me on Instagram. And then uh, you guys can join, like, the Facebook group. Uh, for those who doesn't have... Uh, cruisers yet it the facebook group is the perfect place to uh to know like the drop uh drop dates uh because I, I i share there first if not my instagram it's my facebook group because i'm trying to grow uh the community in the facebook group and then in terms of like collabs um i haven't asked permission 
with like what, who I'm collabing with, but I think it's okay, right? I think it's okay. Your name's um, behind it, so too. yeah. So okay, so you guys all know Mikey Daily Carry MCB Cruiser, um, 52 grains uh, blackout death cookie, and then I'll be working with uh, OEG EDC. We'll be doing like a cruiser uh, 4.02. And then stack. So I I've, I've, I've talked to Steve. So he's interested with a with a cruiser too. And yeah. then uh, of course uh, uh, the the two Brandons, uh, High Tide EDC. We're, we have a drop uh, this coming Friday. Yeah. And then uh, Brandon uh, Everyday Adventure Clothes. We're gonna be another the Topo. Uh, attachment for the crew is going to be oh. I think if I'm not mistaken yeah. and then I was just talking to Geo yesterday so we're going to have a collab too with the RE so uh, I, t- I told him he's the artist so uh, um, he should uh, design uh, whatever we're going to do and then I also t- uh, talked to Sink and Swim if, if you guys are familiar Sink, yeah. Sink or Swim so there's, there's a lot of uh, brands so uh, for those uh, who are listening right now, for the brands, I apologize for the delay. Um, it's just that uh, I wanted to make it perfect. Yep. Uh, everything to be perfect, so it takes time. I have to uh, test out each material, each uh, each it, each design. So, uh, so yeah. That's dope, man. Thank you for all the shares. Rewatch this. Oh, sorry, I have one more thing. Yeah. I forgot about carry culture. So uh, I'm working with uh, Josh and uh, with Chris. So we're gonna do uh, like a 5.0, but uh, it's it's gonna be special. So for those who who love uh, fixed blades, it's gonna be perfect for your fixed blades. What? So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. So uh, that's dope, so man. I'm Look at that it. dropping all of the pieces, yo. That I'm super super excited for that. And, uh, there's one more. Sorry, it's there's so many. Um, I'm working with Miguel too, so Cookie Creation. So we're, we'll be dropping like an RE suit, uh, a blackout Snorlax cart. So what? that's gonna be out soon. Yeah. So much, right? so much heat, so much heat. I can't wait, dude. And I'm super happy to have collabed with you on this. We're still gonna be working out the kinks on this. Test this out as well. So that way, that can be perfect for when we drop it. Be tuned. I think we'll do a that. let's do a pre order for that one, so yeah, for sure. everyone can uh, can have it, so they don't have to worry about the uh, uh, the drop. So, uh, so yeah, I think pre order would be a good uh, uh, way to uh, release this. Yeah, cool. Well, thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate you for stopping by. Thank you to everybody in the chat that has been here throughout the live stream thank you if you guys want to be a member of the channel again you can do so by the link in the description below there's also going to be a join section if you're watching this over again and then for upcoming live streams like i had stated next week i have brandon from everyday adventure co joining me next tuesday the following monday i have notorious edc tom and then i'm going to be wrapping up the month on a tuesday live stream with daily carry company and then I've already confirmed Stacks, who I had to reschedule from last week to first week of March. Uh, it's all about collaborations, even on these unboxing live streams. I'm super excited for it and having you guys join us and see what that is. But uh, support the homie. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Mikey missed my member super chat. What? Yeah, the members. Oh, okay. High tide. Four months. A member for four months. A huge thank you. To practically everyone in the chat for your support. Thanks to Mikey for the content. Thanks to Mike for the collab opportunity. Absolutely. Appreciation goes both ways. We love y'all. And we'll definitely catch you guys on the flip side. All right. Peace out, Mike.